Hi, thank you for watching this uh, video for demonstration of our Actuary API. In this video, I am going to show you how Actuary API work with uh, Microsoft Excel, Python and R. So as uh, we have uh, announced earlier that uh, we have made this REST API for actuarial work. And uh, today I am going to show you how we can use uh, some inbuilt functions of this REST API with uh, the traditional software uh, which actuaries are already using. And uh, we would uh, look at the latest versions of uh, Excel, Python and R and see how API calls can be made to uh, get the values for specific functions. So before I show that, uh, uh, I would like to also explain what is a REST API. And API is an uh, application programming interface. Uh, through an API, we can make few calls, get some data, and do some processing uh, on a server. And uh, each API request may have uh, an endpoint, some methods, headers, data. So uh, through an API, we can get some response which is useful for our work. And uh, if an API request is successful, it gives uh, the success status code. If it is not, uh, usually some validation errors or uh, some other errors would pop up. So uh, our API, which we are calling as Actuary API, uh, has an endpoint, which is uh, Actuary Tools slash API. Uh, although it can use get, post, uh, and put, delete methods, but uh, in this demonstration, I am going to show you how we can use get. Uh, usually, the response is in JSON format, which can be parsed by a uh, variety of software, variety of programming languages. Uh, uh, we can also allow API to provide the plain text response as well. So, uh, the response data is usually a single value or list of values based on the input parameters. And uh, some essential parameters are a key, which is basically the identification key for the uh, customer. Uh, it has some function reference, like what is to be calculated, and some mm, you know other parameters like age, interest rate, payment term, frequency, uh, if the payment is deferred, uh, which mortality to be used and any loading factor. So here uh, I have an example uh, for one of the function which is to calculate annuity paid in advance. And as you can see, uh, it has parameters such as Q, which is the function reference uh, given by ADX. Uh, this three letter keyword is to identify that we want to calculate uh, EPV of a due annuity. Uh, this can calculate both whole life and a term annuity. So we have other parameters such as rate, age, term, uh, frequency of payments, uh, which means even if it is, um, um, you know, P3, like uh, more payments in, in a year, and that can also be calculated. Uh, if the term is deferred, uh, that can be calculated. The mortality to be used, uh, such as IALM or PMA92 or AM92 or any other mortality, even custom mortality tables can be registered in the API and can be called uh, when we want to f uh, calculate the values. Uh, then we have the loading factor. So uh, some default values are there. For example, this ADX function, we have uh, Q, rate and age as required parameters without which the function call would not be completed. Then uh, there are some optional parameters such as term. So if it is blank, it would calculate whole life. But if a term is given such as 15 years or 20 years, then it would calculate for that. Likewise, the payment frequency, if it is blank, uh, then it would consider annual payments or, you know, uh, but but if it is 2, 4, 12, so it could be half yearly, quarterly or monthly payments. Uh, I have an example here which is to calculate the temporary annuity for a 43-year-old person. And these payments are made 12 times in a year for 15 years. Payments are deferred by 3 years. Mortality is IALM with 2% loading. 
and uh, rate is 5.5 percent so to calculate this we can make a call to the api with appropriate key q as adx rate as 5.5 age 43 term as 15 frequency 12 and deferred by 36 payment terms which is basically uh, 36 months because frequency was 12 here then mortality is uh, ialm and this is the keyword for ialm and then uh, loading factor of 3%. Now, I'm going to show you working of these functions in Excel as well in a moment. And uh, just to tell you the parameters which are required before we go there, I'm showing you this presentation. Then we have, uh, likewise, we have another function such as uh, increasing annuity paid in advance. And it has a parameter IADX. And similar to our annuity due, we have uh, some other factor. So if I want to make a call for uh, uh, increasing whole life due annuity for a 57 year old person, uh, payments are not deferred, mortality is AM92, 0% loading, then you can see that uh, loading has blank value, no value. Uh, even if we do not write this keyword and just uh, you know write AM92, it would consider loading of 0%. Then uh, we have the identifier as IADX, rate as 6.2. And once this call is made with appropriate key, uh, the answer would come in Excel or Python, R, Node.js. Uh, you name the programming language and you know this particular API can work with it. Then uh, there is a commutation function example which I am going to show you today. Uh, this uh, commutation function rx value uh, which needs the rate and age and mortality is optional if it is not given then it would consider am92 and the loading factor if not given it would consider 0% so to calculate a commutation function rx for 53 year old person with pma92 and 10% loading at 7.78 percent the call would be made as uh, q equals to rx rate as 7.78 age as 53 mortality as pma 92 and loading of 10 percent so as i said earlier this is a quick demo of uh, what actually api can do and uh, we have taken three sample functions uh, i'm going to use this api i'm going to call the api using microsoft excel uh, on the screen, I have the latest version of Excel using Office 365. So uh, to use our uh, API in MS Excel, there is uh, a plugin that we have installed, which is a really small plugin, just few lines of code uh, making an HTTP call, uh, uh, API call to the required URL with appropriate key and uh, the query will be passed from ms excel to it so there is no function in the plugin it is just a wrapper program to call uh, the function in the cloud uh, on one of our servers through this api uh, before i show this i would like to mention that we have tested the api with uh, excel versions ranging from 2003 to the latest one and it works successfully in all the versions. We have also tested this on both Mac OS and Windows 7, Windows uh, 8.1, 10. And uh, we are uh, satisfied with the performance, the amount of time that it takes and uh, the results that it produces. So uh, as I said, I do have this plugin which is installed here. So if I go to the plugins, as you can see, uh, the actual API plugin is installed here. Uh, the add-in is installed here. And we can now call the functions directly. So if I type actually API. So here I am making a call to ADX function, which is Q equals to ADX. And so I use an ampersand operator to pass on various parameters uh, in my query. So Q equals to ADX and so I give rate which is my discounting rate as 8.43%. I give age as 43. These are the essential parameters. Of course we can also pass other parameters like mortality to be used, 
number of decimal points required in the answer, then uh, the mortality loading and so on. So if I make this call, I get an instant answer, instant value get populated in the Excel uh, cell and uh, this is pretty quick. So now I will make another call to Actuary API and this time we will calculate a increasing annuity due and as you can see I am passing on the parameters to identify the increasing annuity then giving the discounting rate as 5.5 uh, and age of the person as 57. So the moment I call this increasing annuity function in the Excel using Actuary API, uh, it gives me the instant answer. Now let's say we want to change the value and now we want say 9 decimal places for uh, this answer. So I am passing on another parameter called dp with dp equals to 9. I get the value as a response with 9 decimal places. By default it produces 5 and uh, we can get any number of decimal places we want. I would like to make one more quick call uh, to actually API and this time it would be Rx function. So if you recall Rx function had uh, the age and rate as essential parameters. So the discount rate is passed on as 3.6 and age of the person is 45 so this is the value for the commutation function for a person who is currently age at 45 with 3.6 percent discount rate and this is valued using AM92 as I said we can also register our own mortality functions or tables and we can use them in our uh, API calls now the advantage of having a API system for your custom functions would be uh, a central repository where you can manage all your functions and if your team has got Excel, if they are using Python, if they are using R, Node.js, PHP, HTML, JavaScript, any programming language, any tool, uh, they can all use the same function library. So I'm going to move to now Python using PyCharm on my local machine. As you can see, I have a test application, uh, a test script on my uh, screen, just four lines, where I'm making a call to uh, actually API. Uh, there is a five line function, six line function, uh, which doesn't have anything except an HTTP API wrapper. So I'm making a call with appropriate key and the query is passed from uh, you know, the main file where I'm producing the um, output. So again, let's say we make an ADX call at 4% uh, and then age is 43 and decimal points required are eight. Let me call this. So the moment I run this, it produces the required output which is 19.3189 Suppose I change the number of decimal points to 5, H to 47 and the interest rate to 4.56 I will be able to make the call again and this time the answer would differ the value would change and as you can see this is now valued using 4.56% for a person aged 47 and the value returns uh, with five decimal points. So uh, it is the same functional library uh, which is being uh, queried. Uh, earlier we did this in Excel, now we are doing it in Python. There is no change in the call as you can see. It is still actually tools, actually dot tools slash API with the same key and the query is exactly same. Earlier also it was Q uh, for the identifier of the function, rate of interest, age and there are other parameters which I am not using right now but they also work uh, like this one. Uh, I, I would also like to move to R now so this is 
R Studio on my local machine where uh, I have a small UDF uh, function where we are making a call again to the same API actually dot tool slash API and uh, the query is being passed you can see here same query there is no difference and let's calculate the value of IADX this time and let's use 4.25 age 48 and uh, this is uh, the earlier call was for a term annuity so increasing annuity can also be calculated for term and here we have now a 48 year old person at 4.25 percent so when I make this call and run the program it produces the required increasing annuity due for the specified values so uh, using HTTP API we can maintain a single library of our actuarial functions uh, no matter which programming language which tool we use uh, they could be a central repository which we can maintain which we can uh, make changes to easily we are currently offering a set of 700 plus actuarial functions for both life non-life and other uh, actuarial work and uh, this can be subscribed uh, as a service so we maintain the repository on our servers and you can make calls using specific keys given to you and uh, you can use the library uh, for the standard functions in any version of MS Excel Python or R at the same time I think the biggest advantage of search system for uh, for actuarial teams in different organizations could be that we can help you set up an API for your own custom functions we can maintain this repository on our servers or we can also maintain this on your infrastructure we can work with your technical teams to set up a similar system for you and uh, it can help you greatly to save time and resources this can speed up the work and save a lot of man hours in you know making the changes to the plugins and uh, to the macros and once your custom functions are available as an HTTP API for your entire team uh, you can see a great boost in the productivity this is all possible because of the computing power that we have today uh, on various cloud services and uh, you can choose your own cloud service be it Amazon Microsoft or Google Compute Engine we can help you set up a similar system on any of your own infrastructure in your office as well we have worked with more than 50 clients to set up a similar system and these systems have resulted in great boost in their productivity and savings so I would request you to get in touch with Actuary Life uh, you can call me directly I am Vikram Arora founder of Actuary Life you can contact me to fix a meeting and we can talk how we can save money time for your actuality. Thank you so much.